What is up everyone? I am Brad from iBuyPower. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing video for one of our desktops. Things to look out for, things to keep track of, you know, what some of the ports and plugs uh, do and you know how to control the lighting on your system, things like that. So I'll be opening the system, taking it out of its box, uh, showing you all the accessories that come with it, pointing out some of the ports, um, and you know, some common things to look out for with your new iBuyPower system. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the system out of its box. Cut the tape here. Okay, so there's gonna be a few things inside you wanna keep an eye out for. We have a quick start guide, accessory bag. Uh, this PC comes with a mouse and keyboard. Peace. Go ahead and uh, pull the protective foam off the sides of the system. All right, cool. All right, so we got the PC out of its box. Uh, before we take a look too much at the computer itself, we're gonna look at some of the things that we found in the box. First off, we have the accessory bag, the power cord for the PC, that's important, of course. Uh, this PC comes with Wi-Fi, uh, so make sure to take a look in your accessory bag. If you do have Wi-Fi antennas, you'll need to screw those onto the PC once we're done. A little user guide for the graphics card. Like I said, uh, any of the parts that come in your computer, if they do come with instruction manuals, we do include them in the accessory bag. You don't necessarily need these, but it's good to keep them you know, somewhere safe in case you need to refer back to them later. We also have our little card for instructions on how to work the RGB. A lot of these computers will have RGB lighting. Uh, there's a few different RGB ecosystems, different control methods. Uh, this little card will go through how a lot of those work. All right, and lastly, uh, we have a little free gift from iBuyPower. Uh, if you purchase one of our systems and go ahead and leave a review, we'll send you a free gift, whether that's a gift card or some kind of swag. Of course, we want people to know about your experience and what you think about our products. The mouse and keyboard, those are pretty self-explanatory. We can set these aside. We also have a quick start guide. Some of the stuff we'll be going over in this video is here in the guide. Just uh, hold on to this, it's got some good information on it, including um, some information about the ports on the system. And if you do need to uh, back up or reinstall Windows, there's uh, some instructions there as well. Okay, uh, now let's move on to the actual PC. So you'll notice here on the side, uh, there's this big giant warning label. It's telling you basically uh, there's a protective foam insert inside the computer that's protecting the various parts um, from jostling around during shipping. Uh, you need to make sure to remove that piece of foam before you turn the PC on. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the side panel from the PC. Most side panels will come off with a few screws at the back and then you'll slide it towards the rear and the panel will come off. Set this aside somewhere safe. Most of our PCs do come with tempered glass side panels, uh, so you wanna make sure that you're not dropping these or uh, putting something that's too heavy on top of it. Now you can see uh, we have this foam insert. Like I said, you're just gonna remove that. Make sure it's not getting caught on any kind of like wires or cables as you're pulling it out. Again, like I said, this is gonna support the graphics card. Um, it keeps kind of keeps stuff safe during shipping. Okay, so after that, uh, we're gonna take a look at the back of the PC. There's a couple of important things here. Can you see this? All right, so you'll notice two things here. Uh, one is we have this big sticker over all of the motherboard ports, basically reminding you that if your PC has a dedicated graphics card, you're gonna wanna plug your monitor into the graphics card. A lot of motherboards do have ports for the integrated graphics for the CPU. By default, those ports are disabled uh, when you have a graphics card. Also, it's a much lower performance type of graphics. So if you're gaming, you wanna make sure you're plugging into the ports on your graphics card. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this sticker. Also here, uh, we have a little sticker covering the power plug on the power supply, kind of reminding you the same thing as the warning we saw on the side panel, uh, to remove that foam insert before you plug in and turn on the PC. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this sticker as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the ports and plugs on the back of the PC. Uh, starting here at the top, we have the connections for the Wi-Fi antennas. Not every PC will have these external connections for Wi-Fi, but this is pretty common nowadays. Again, uh, remember to find the antennas that we had in our accessory bag and screw those in there. Below that, we have the legacy PS2 ports for keyboard and mouse. Not every system will have these as well, but it will give you a little bit of support for those older keyboards and mice. Then we have 
our blue USB 3 ports. There's two sets of those, two here, two here. In between, we have an HDMI port. Um, again, I mentioned before, if you're plugging in monitors, you wanna make sure to plug into your video card ports, which are down here, because this port will be disabled. On this card in particular, we have one HDMI port and three display ports. HDMI and display port are the current modern uh, Display cables, depending on what monitor you have, you may not have one or all of these ports. Display port and HDMI can both be adapted uh, to a bunch of other different kinds of ports. So just keep an eye out, you may need to pick up a special cable or adapter uh, to get your monitor or monitors all hooked up and working properly. And then we have our black USB 2.0 ports, our ethernet port for wired internet. Here are audio ports for uh, your speakers, your microphone, your headphones. Okay, so uh, now that we've run through uh, most of the connections on the PC, uh, it's time to get everything hooked up and powered on. Some USB plugged in here. Turn it. So uh, we're all plugged in. Uh, now it's time to fire the machine up. So there's a few things that we do recommend you do when you first get the machine started up. Of course, uh, you're gonna have to go through and create your Windows user ID, you know, set up some of your personal settings. Um, but after that, uh, there's a couple of things we definitely recommend that you do. First off, we recommend you check all the ports on the PC. That includes the front panel USB, front panel audio, and all the USB and connection on the rear panel, um, and as many of the display ports on your graphics card uh, as you can. This will make sure that, you know, in the future, if you do need to expand and, you know, add anything, you don't suddenly run into, oh, a dead port or, uh, you know, something that was loose or disconnected. Just want to make sure everything's working right on day one. A lot of people ask us, you know, oh, what kind of software should I download? Actually, the thing we recommend, uh, whatever game uh, you were hyped about playing or a game that you have been playing, uh, go ahead and install that one right away. Um, you know, give the machine a good workout right off the bat. You know, you really wanna make sure that it's performing as expected. Within the first couple of days, depending on your speed of your internet and how many times you restart the PC, uh, the PC may go through some Windows updates, uh, some file indexing, so there may be a few slowdowns uh, right at the beginning, but after all that is done, after you're fully up to date, um, you know, you should have, you know, pretty flawless performance. Uh, you know, there shouldn't be any kind of, like I said, slowdowns, no kind of crashing or freezing, nothing like that. It should work flawlessly right out of the box. Uh, if you do have any issues with the PC, make sure to get in touch with our support as soon as you can. Um, of course, all of our PCs do come uh, fully warrantied, parts and labor. So if you have any issues, you know, make sure to call us um, and, you know, we can work through these things with you. So lastly, of course, uh, you do notice uh, this PC does have uh, some RGB lighting going on. Uh, we do get a lot of questions about, you know, how that's controlled. Uh, if your computer does come with the RGB quick start guide, you can refer to that. Uh, but if it doesn't come with it, basically there's three main ways that RGB is controlled. Uh, on our systems. The first way and the most common way is through motherboard software. So the RGB lighting in the system will be plugged into a header on the motherboard and you'll use the RGB software that comes with the motherboard to control the lighting. Um, there's four main motherboard software for ASRock or iBuyPower branded motherboards. That's going to be Polychrome RGB uh, for ASUS. That's going to be Aura for MSI, Mystic Light, and for Gigabyte. Uh, that's RGB Fusion. They give you a pretty good level of customization uh, in terms of what you can do with the lighting in your PC. The second way is through a remote, either infrared or wireless. Uh, the remote will have uh, little buttons that you can press to change the color manually. Usually if the PC does come with a remote, it means that there was no available motherboard header to control the RGB lighting, so we use a remote instead. The last and the least common uh, is a button on the case that actually manually toggles the RGB to different colors. Um, this is usually for more inexpensive systems uh, where the motherboard can't have a RGB header. Okay, so that wraps it up for our unboxing and quick start video. Uh, again, uh, if there was anything unexpected that happened during your PC setup, uh, you know, any weird behavior or things that didn't go as we described it in this video or in the quick start guide, make sure to let us know, give us a call, hit us up on live chat, social media, whatever, and uh, we'll try to get it taken care of right away. Anyways, again, I'm Brad, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys online.